A. So I was just realizing that I haven't done a vlog in a while. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I just finished morning training. It's Friday, so um, I have tomorrow and then a rest day. Um, and I have a fight coming up in a little bit, so I have a little bit of time to train leading up to it, which is good. I usually don't have like tons of time between fights, um, although uh, my scale is different from a lot of people. So this feels like a lot of time uh, from my last fight to this one. But um, I feel like my training's going really, really well. I'm doing a lot more sparring and clinching. I always clinched a lot, but I'm doing a lot more sparring and clinching like in conjunction with each other. Um, than I ever have before and it's all here at Petra Ring, which is really good So I'm not running around to different gyms at the moment, which makes me really really happy um, because the going to different gyms part doesn't actually Stress me but the like traveling between them even though they're so close together here in Pattaya <laughs> when I was in uh, New York before moving to Thailand um, I would drive like two hours to get maybe 15 minutes of sparring or something. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't have to do that anymore um, but it's still with traffic and trying to go between things. It's the like in between things that make things really difficult, um, which has kind of been a revelation in my training and fighting recently. I think basically since Dieselnoy was here in February and March, he was really on the boys about like how they performed between everything. Um, and he didn't like outright state it, but you could see what he was pushing for. Like he would make sure that in the moments between strikes, bank was more threatening I guess um, and then like when the round would end the way that they were breathing the way that they stood up straight instead of slumping like always always showing vitality like all the time um, and that's just between everything um, so it's like not even necessarily the strikes that you're throwing or the way that you control the ring it's the way you control time and space it's like the wizard approach to Muay Thai which is really beautiful and I think that applying that to uh, not only literally my training, like how I'm standing uh, and things like that, but um, the things between training, like how I rest when I'm home, uh, what I'm thinking about when I'm not at the gym, like how I talk to myself when I'm working, like all these different things all have massive effect on my training and my fighting. And I think that in my last few fights, I've been really happy with all the stuff that's between strikes, like the kind of um, energy aura um, that I have in the ring I think is making me much more confident and I think it's because of confidence so it's this like self-feeding um, process uh, but Kevin and I talked about this on our last Muay Thai Bones podcast that's on YouTube you can go check it out um, but I'm working uh, rest into my schedule way more um, I think it's been really good it's hard because I don't like it <laughs> I don't like stopping. I don't like taking time away from the gym. It feels like I just want to get back all the time. Um, but that actually means that the time I'm supposed to be resting, I'm not resting. So learning how to really, really rest when you're supposed to be resting will allow me to kind of um, renegotiate that time in the future. But right now, I just need to learn to really rest when I'm resting. Um, I think it's have positive effects this far. Um, I'm happy with some of the um, technical changes that I've been bringing into my fights recently and that all comes from training which is really cool um, it takes a long time guys <laughs> I'm, I'm 240 fights in and I'm still like trying to get my guard to look the way it should look uh, based on how I train it so if you're you know uh, in the double digits or even single digits of your fight career and are frustrated why can't you do things that you do in the gym takes a while <laughs> everyone's on a different path um yeah but I feel really good I feel happy um I'm happy with the training I'm doing I'm happy with the experimentation in my life and um optimizing my experiential performance um I want to feel good when I'm fighting, I want to love fighting, because uh, I obviously do, I've done it a lot. Uh, but I noticed that I was kind of coming out of the ring feeling really miserable, and like in training, I was really beating myself up a lot, and it's like, why are you doing this if you're so miserable all the time? So you uh, address that, like address that feeling, rather than thinking that it's being caused by something external. That's my path at the moment. Um, I'm going to go wake Kevin up and get some breakfast and be back here this afternoon. Talk to you guys later. <laughs>